Greetings, this is Earthman. How are you this day? May God bless this day for you. And I hope your health is well and your family's well and your garden's well. We have here uh, inoculated um, potting soil that I'm reusing. I, I reuse my soil. Uh, I've uh, remember walk, driving down the street here and there, roads, uh, side roads, and uh, seeing people dumping their soil from their different grows uh, in the woods. I don't know, maybe because they're afraid of police or this or that. Um, but uh, his garbage is my gain. I would just snatch it up, <laughs> that soil, and I would inoculate it and uh, refortify it, and boom, I had some really light and fluffy good stuff. Um, you know, not that I prefer light and fluffy stuff. I like a little bit of the density in there because it is what plants are used to. Um, yeah, they love loose soil, but is that the best thing for them? Well, that's another subject. Uh, what I have, uh, what I did is I took my, uh, I call it DMO 3.5, Dominant Microorganisms 3.5, but you know it as IMO3. It's, it's just a version of my own of IMO3 that is, um, has a lot of other type of bacteria other than uh, the indigenous microbes that are in my area. I've pulled them from a lot of different areas in the northeast, uh, deep forests by trees and on the side of hills and that side of the hill and in the valley on top of the mountain, wherever just getting different sources of bacteria and fungi. And um, I used those and I ordered some stuff from Dr. X from India, which are like phosphate mobilizers, uh, potassium mobilizers, uh, phosphate solubilizers, if I said that word right, uh, bacteria to break down magnesium, iron, silica, and a lot of other bacteria um, also uh, in the mix. And so, uh, it's real easy. You get your top soil, you put it in something. I put it in a little kid's pool, and um, right there I threw some soil on top, and right before I decided to do a video. So, but it looked all the whole thing looked all like you know that. You can see mycelium everywhere. Um, I can't help the quality of this video because I'm in my um, in the dungeon downstairs. In my house, uh, that's where I, you know, keep a lot of my biologics and do a lot of my stuff. It's nice and cool. But nonetheless, I put the soil in something, and then I put the IMO on top of it, IMO3, and then I covered it up with some, uh, like a tarp, uh, and um, came back about, I think this is for uh, day four, and uh, just look at that mycocillin. And so that's what you want. You want to bring life back to soil that you get from stores or potting soil. You get, you know, that's organic, of course, um, and inoculate it with your IMOs or whatever you want. You can order, uh, feel free to order my DMO 3.5. It's awesome stuff. But I'm running a little later on this video. I'm trying to keep them uh, under four minutes and so I'm gonna stick to it so you get your potty soil you inoculate it and then I throw a little oyster shell flour in there whatever nutrients you want to refortify it or if it's already ready to go then just a little oyster shell flour because uh, the bacteria will make your soil a slightly acidic um, so and then you let it sit for four days mix it all up and boom you're ready to go uh, four or five days it depends on your bacteria but the um, you know that's up to you you know everybody has a, a way of doing it so well may god bless you i'm sorry this video went over four minutes but um i think it's worth it uh, this is a good way to take your uh used soil and make it good so you have to buy more uh, may god bless you and your family and may your health be good and your plants grow huge